it's got to go from 12 and it's got to be out and they're cutting in and you can see that's how that's going to affect the orbit on the band as well. Everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation, and in this video, we're going to talk about real quick are the use of our drill cones for training. It's a really simple tool. They have a lot of purposes, and you notice that we're using lower cones. So what we have is basically eight small, just kind of the agility style cone for markers, and they turn out to be a real good marker for the ring. You're going to notice that we have the four red cones, and that's going to mark your 12 o'clock, six o'clock nine o'clock and three o'clock positions. The reason we did that is that we wanted to mark the cones, right? I made the simple set. These come in, like I said, those eight cone sets. And the idea here is to give kids to start thinking in terms of awareness of the clock. If you look into our fundamentals setup course, I talk about the clock and why we choose the clock over like using degrees. It's easier generally. But the point here is that when we have our four red cones at our, at our main clock positions, we use the additional colors to be able to move around and adjust positions and times and use for other drills. So in this configuration we have here, we've got this kind of bright orange cone to mark 12 for the extra action of the sweep leg to, and we're putting it out. So now when we do things and we combine, when we're working our band, you're going to see how we're going we're to keep everything long. We're going to keep the, the balance arm, left arm, entry arm over that bright orange cone. You can see how we would take and we would cue the athlete to take the hand and take it over that 10 o'clock position. So it's got to go from 12 and it's got to be out here. What a lot of times you see is athletes cutting in and they're cutting in and you can see that's how that's going to affect the orbit on the band as well. So when you start combining the band, the cones and different things like that, you really start to make the athlete learn the system and learn the throw faster. So we put the foot at nine o'clock, which would be same direction parallel to the nine o'clock cone. And then you would see how we would kick the sweep leg out here. Now watch, and this is what a lot of athletes will do. They'll kick it out. And what you want to do is get, tell them, have it here and kick it out. And now you're going to notice how that helps facilitate some of the rotation from pillar two to three, really important. But again, these are really good targeting type positions. Like I said, I like to cue kids to push the knee to 530. If I can put a cone at 530, you're going to get your athletes to push that knee around. That becomes a very simple cue. If we're trying to get our athletes to come around and hold the arm, you know, start to hold for the rewrap at the yellow cone. You feel that maybe you want it to be 1230. You'll, you know, again, you'll notice the things are going to work. So this is why we put them together in sets. They're really simple. You know, we just stack them up. They come with a nice little clip and they're super portable and easy. And it's one of those things you can just use over and over and over again. It's easy to take to a meet. You can set it up and have athletes warming up. And the things that we're trying to do with the throwing community is put together the tools and the things that are going to help the athletes learn the system faster. Bottom line is we have a short period of time. We only have so many hours a day. And if we can make it more visual and more kinesthetic, our athletes are going to learn better because auditory cues are good, but the physical and visual cues are the best. Anyway, hopefully you find that helpful. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Remember the whole action reaction, that's the physics. That's what we incorporate and build the system around. So sometimes people